Evangelist St. Matthew tells us about the apostles. Immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. Very powerful statement. Today we need a very special kind of heroes. The preachers and the messengers of the Christian faith. This superior class of people, this superior category of people are called apostles. They're not too common. There are not too many of them. Jesus had 12, and they, then he appointed other 72. So their total is like 84. The apostles of Jesus have three extraordinary qualifications that make them part of this special class category that is called apostles. Their love for Jesus Christ is so intense that it would make them walk away from their possessions, their titles, their money, their family ties without any hesitation. The intense love is so powerful, so contagious that made their impact within their surroundings, wherever they went, unbeatable. Their love to Jesus Christ is so supreme that because of that level, because of that depth intensity of love, nations around the world came to love and to bond with the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus chose apostles in every generation after the first group of the apostles of the twelve and the seventy-two. Paul, Apostle Paul, is another example that loved Jesus Christ so intentionally, so intensely to a point to a level that was unimaginable. And Apostle Paul comes from the early days of Christianity after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. His love took him around the world, inspired him to ignite, to set on flame many hearts with the love of Jesus Christ, while he was able to overcome thousands of dangers that tried to destroy him and to stop him from spreading the love of Jesus Christ. All the apostles that were sent by Jesus Christ throughout the history of the church had the same level of love, zeal, and loyalty to Him. Hunger, danger, lack of honor, recognition, comfort, convenience, none of that stopped or discouraged them from reaching their assigned task to make the person of Jesus Christ that awesome supreme person known to others. Even in this age where things might seem bleak and dark for the Christian faith. 
call for people to find the love of Jesus Christ is not lost. And Christ is not defeated. And he is never defeated. Even though the darkness of the world today is not at the same level it was during the days of Jesus Christ, but this savagery, this barbaric morals are back at the scene today. The same power of love that defeated it back then, 2,000 years ago, is going to defeat it today. The world has nothing on the apostles. The world has nothing on the apostles to take or to defeat their faith. There is no price that the world can pay them to buy them out. And there is no fear to scare them so to take the love of Jesus Christ from their hearts. Apostle Paul describes that and he tells us what kind of special breed, what kind of special people the apostles are, how much they can take and how much they can face. And he says, giving examples from previous ones, they suffered mocking, flogging, chains and imprisonment, stoned to death, sawn in two, killed by the sword, went about, destitute, persecuted, tormented, wandered in deserts and mountains, and in caves and holes in the ground. And they never gave up. This is the type of heroes that is called the apostles that are in the story of the calling of the first apostles that Saint Matthew recorded for us. Thank you very much.